Hey, what's going on guys? It's Frolix here, bringing you a brand new GTA 5 online video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be telling you which is the best hangar to buy in GTA 5 online in the brand new Smuggler's Run DLC. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get it started. So if you guys haven't already seen the live stream of everything in the game that they've added, be sure to check that out. It was about a two hour live stream, so go should check that out. It's pretty dope. Anyways, let's get started here. So, you go to the internet. And of course, you go over to at least travel. Actually, no, what am I saying? You go to the Maze Bank Foreclosure site, enter site. So there is five hangars that you can purchase. Of course, that's pretty obvious, military base, and here at the airport. So you would think at the airport it would be more expensive because it's in the city, but it's actually not. The cheapest one is, I think, 1.2 million out of all of them. Um, I'm pretty sure, yes, 1.2 million. So the hangar that I have is a $3 million hangar and they range in prices. So, the cheapest one is down here, 1.2 million at the airport, the Pegasus LSIA. The other one is this hangar, 1.52. Then there is this one over here. And then we got this one for 2.6, and then the best one right here for 3 million. Now, of course, if you guys wanna upgrade it, it will cost a total of about $6 million. But here is the thing that you guys are wondering, which one should you purchase for you guys? Honestly, if I'm being completely honest, the best ones that you can actually purchase, in my personal opinion, are going to be at the airport. Now, there's multiple reasons for this. One, you guys can literally go from the city to right here, and boom, you guys can just grab one. Everyone, number two, this is number two, everyone will be buying the military based ones, and they're more expensive. There's going to be a lot of griefing there. When I was streaming, there was a lot of griefers, so that's another thing at the military base. They're also less expensive here, like I did say compared to these ones, which are pretty much two times the price, or more than two times the price for this one. And the inside is the exact same thing. There is completely no difference between any of these hangers. They're, they're all the exact same on the inside. That's the thing. So, you know what? I don't suggest you guys purchase a hanger that's a lot more expensive just because of the location. You guys can see the hangers up there aren't even that big. This is the best one that you can get, and that's, of course, a lot bigger. But you guys can see the interior, and they're, they're no different than any of the ones down here. So, you guys can obviously tell which one you should buy if you don't have that much money definitely buy these ones because they are very 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 cheap this one is probably the best one that you guys can get because it's only 1.2 million so definitely purchase that in terms of the upgrades what you guys don't need is pretty much any of this stuff you don't need a living quarters the only thing that you want to get is a workshop now this costs about i think 1.15 million dollars putting you at about 2.3 million which is still cheaper than all the hangers at the military base so I suggest purchasing this. You guys can obviously purchase some other stuff like honest office furniture. Um, you don't really need it. It looks pretty cool just like that. I did put in this one just because it's pretty nice. Um, hanger styles, you guys can upgrade this stuff to change the floors, but really you guys can keep it basic and upgrade that later. So guys, that's it for the video today. I hope you did go on to enjoy it. If you did, be sure to smash a like and subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to turn post notifications on so you don't miss out on the future uploads today and for the rest of the videos I don't even know on the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.